This is a short uh, tutorial on how to remove uh, surface mounted components from a PCB. The components I'm talking about are at the moment are the two sided components like capacitors, diodes, etc. Method one is what I have is a normal solder now, and uh, what I do is I just get my diode, can be a solder on one side, more solder on the other side, and then I just just keep on going like that and it comes off. And clean up the board. Quite simple. It's the quickest method. Next method I would use um is um, have a surface mounted uh, solder on. Got the tweezers on it. Gonna try and clean it up a bit. And uh, I normally start with uh, freshening up the solder anyway. So we're going to do that on one of the components. Okay. Find my component. And then like a pair of tweezers, it lifts it up. These are very good. Um, it's made by Ursa um, SMT units. Um, we also come across um, transistors, little surface mounted transistors. These uh, three legged devices. These are a little bit more difficult to take off. But we're going to see how we take it off using the normal solder lamp first. I normally freshen it up a bit as much off possible. Take as much off as possible. No, sorry. Now I'm going to remove the solder. It just leaves it nice and clean. Then what I normally do is take off the tack the one leg first. It normally lifts up, and it might leave the other two pads still stuck. And um, if you like that one there, it uh, it came off very easy. That's method one. Let's try the um, tweezers on it. A bit more difficult uh, than the capacitors, but uh, let's give it a try. And that's it off. As I say, if you're doing a lot of surface mounted um, components, that's the way to go. Now we're going to uh, tackle this uh, three-legged uh, device. Uh, it looks like a little three-legged regulator. Um, as for usual, I freshen up the solder on the pins. This will be a, a bit harder. What I normally do is I try to get as much solder on this as possible and it takes a while and you have to get the solder melted on it. That's pretty molten there. And then what you can do then is a jeweler screwdriver, lift one leg.
lift it a little bit off it. Soak up the excess solder. A little bit more difficult than the smaller items. Now we're going to tackle this part where it's uh, yeah. that was not too bad after all. I've had worse to come out. I'll start by just freshen up the solder. Got legs. Now I've got to heat up this uh, end of it because it uses the PCB as a heat sink to dissipate the heat and it takes a little bit longer for the solder to melt on it. What I'm going to do is, when that's melted, I'm going to get up a bit Have a go at these two here. We'll only do one. It's similar. It's similar to that uh, last way I did. It. Okay, plenty of solder on there. Just uh, take off the excess now. So many variations of unsoldering. You've got to pick the one that suits you. And that's got rid of most of the solder. That doesn't mean it's going to come off. Okay. But it certainly made it a bit easier. It's probably better for you if you're uh, not experienced in removing them because you don't want to damage these these pads here. I hope that's a fair somehow to someone out there. Thanks for watching.